Howdy folks, what is the size, that's the number of edges, of the complement of a tree graph on n vertices? Turns out the answer is actually kind of interesting. The size of the complement of a tree graph on n vertices is actually equal to the size of a complete graph with one fewer vertices, that's k n minus one. Of course, n has to be at least two, Otherwise, you know, k0 or k negative 1, that doesn't really make sense. So we might want to specify k has to be at least 2. That way we're talking about an actual graph that has a vertex. So we'll prove this in today's Wrath of Math lesson, and it's a pretty straightforward proof. For starters, let's just see what is the size of a complete graph on n minus 1 vertices. Well, if we have a total of n minus 1 vertices, I guess we'll just write this, let's say, right over here. Just want to make sure we have enough room. So we're going to write the size, that's the cardinality, of the edge set of a complete graph on n minus 1 vertices. Well, this complete graph, of course, has n minus 1 total vertices, which means there are n minus 1 choose 2 total possible edges, and the complete graph has all of those possible edges, so this is the size of a complete graph on n minus 1 vertices, because any way we can pick two vertices, that defines an edge, so it's n minus 1 choose 2. Now what is n minus 1 choose 2 equal to? Well, this is a binomial coefficient that by definition is equal to n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 minus 2 factorial, that's n minus 1 minus 2 factorial, which is n minus 3 factorial, multiplied by 2 factorial. Now, how could we simplify this expression a little bit? Well, n minus 1 factorial is equal to n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 factorial. So we can cancel out the n minus 3 factorials, and what we would be left with in the numerator is the very beginning of n minus 1 factorial. That's just n minus 1 times n minus 2, and we canceled out the rest of the factors with n minus 3 factorial. And then besides that, all we've got left in the denominator is 2 factorial. So that's a nice uh, rewriting of the expression for the number of edges in a complete graph on n minus 1 vertices. Now, if we can show that the complement of a tree graph on n vertices also has this many edges, then we'll be done. So let's go ahead and get into it. I guess I'll write uh, our tree stuff, I'll write in red. So suppose that we have a tree of order n, right? So then what's the cardinality of the edge set of the complement of that tree graph, so t complement. Well, a tree graph on n vertices will always have n minus 1 edges. So a tree, a connected graph with no cycles, has one less edge than it has vertices. I'll leave a link in the description to some lessons about trees, introducing trees, uh, and a proof of that result, that a tree has one less edge than it has vertices. So how many edges will the complement of a tree graph have? Well, by definition of the complement of a graph, it's going to have every possible edge, so n choose 2, it's got n vertices, so every possible edge is n choose 2. The complement's going to have every possible edge except for the edges that the original graph t had. The original graph t had n minus 1 edges because it was a tree on n vertices, so the original graph t had n minus 1 edges, thus by definition of graph complement, the complement is going to have n choose 2 edges minus those n minus 1 edges that the original graph had. Okay, so now let's rewrite this expression uh, expanding the binomial coefficient. n choose 2 is equal to n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial, and then we're subtracting that n minus 1. All right, now let's multiply n minus 1 by n minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial over n minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial, just so we've got common denominators, and we can bring this into one fraction. So that's going to be equal to, I guess we'll have to write it down here because we don't have quite enough room here. It's going to be n factorial minus, and then we're multiplying this 
by the denominator over the denominator. Just a funny form of one, right? We're multiplying it by this. So we're gonna have minus n minus one times n minus two factorial times two factorial because we multiplied it by the denominator, but we also divided it by the denominator. That's multiplying by one, which is why we can put it in this fraction with this common denominator of n minus two factorial times two factorial. All right, what have we got going on now? Well, what is n factorial? n factorial is equal to, or actually before we go there, what's this equal to? n minus one times n minus two factorial by definition of factorial is equal to n minus one factorial. So we could rewrite this as n factorial minus n minus one factorial, because what's n minus one factorial? It's just n minus one times n minus two times n minus three and so on. It's just n minus one times n minus two factorial. So we're rewriting the numerator as n factorial minus n minus one factorial times two factorial, still divided by our denominator, n minus two factorial times two factorial. All right, what now? Well, what's n factorial equal to? It's equal to n times n minus one factorial. So we've actually got common factors of n minus one factorial in the numerator, so we can factor that out within the numerator. So we could rewrite it as n minus one factorial, that's what we are factoring out, multiplied by what are we gonna have if we factor n minus one factorial out of n factorial? We'll just have a factor of n left over. And then if we factor n minus one factorial out of this term, we'll have two factorial left over. And then in the denominator, we have n minus two factorial multiplied by two factorial. All right, what's next? One more time, just notice n times n minus one factorial, that is n factorial. And then of course, n minus one factorial times negative two factorial, that's this term over here. All right, what simplification is left? Well, let's see, n minus one factorial, what's that equal to? It's equal to n minus one times n minus two factorial, right? Because it's just n minus one times n minus two times n minus three and so on. So there's a factor of n minus two factorial in the numerator and we can do some cancellation. Doing that cancellation, what we'll have left in the numerator is n minus one because we canceled all those other factors out with the n minus two factorial. And then we'll have this n minus two factorial term there. And then in the denominator, we canceled out this n minus two factorial with most of the terms of the n minus one factorial. So all we've got left is a two factorial in the denominator and we're done. What's two factorial? It's two times one, which is two. So we could just rewrite that as n times two. Clearly this, look at that, it's that. n minus one times n minus two over two factorial n minus one times n minus two over two factorial. That was a lot of talking and not a lot of breathing. But uh, yeah, I hope that showed you how, how it works, how you can get from the cardinality of the edge set of the complement of a tree graph, we can see how that's gotta be equal to this, which it turns out is the same as the size of a complete graph on one less vertex than the tree. Uh, k n minus one, it's got this many edges, the complement of a tree on n vertices has this many edges. Pretty neat, very uh, interesting relationship. So I hope this lesson helped you understand uh, this little property and how to prove it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. If you'd like to help support Wrath of Math, I'd really appreciate a uh, small donation on PayPal or small monthly pledge on Patreon. I'll leave links to those in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. I'm gonna go get some ice cream. Raising the Tobago's, we growing like fresh tomatoes. Them boys on fire, two fuego. We pass it round hot potato. Everything is new wavo. I'm with my sweetie like Quavo. Need my cheese, need that queso. Need my bread, need that bankroll. Wake up, yes, Lord, I'm thankful. Another day on my schedule. Steady blocking the devil. I tell a hater, God bless you. Cherish